Hey guys, today we will make an improvement, an update, a DLC, only with clay and cardboard, for our Friday Night Night Funkin frame. Okay, the latest Rakam and Sakam video was just insane and um, yeah, you may have noticed that I really enjoyed it. I asked you, round two, you said Pico, 58%, wow. <laughs> then you had some other suggestions. For example, putting in some light. Well, this is some beautiful warm light and I really enjoyed the idea of having real stage lights instead of the printout ones. Thank you all for writing this in the comments. This means we are removing the ones on the blueprint, print it out and we can work with this one to build our beautiful stage a little bit bigger. I also got like 12 billion comments about Daddy Dearest and my speculations around this character. I'm sorry, I didn't really want to insult anyone. It was just... Yeah, you're right. It says Daddy Dearest at the beginning of the game, but I'm not really the reader kind of gamer. <laughs> if it is a reading game like, well, I don't know, roleplay, I enjoy it, but besides that, I don't really read at all when playing. I want to play, not read. <laughs> and I'm really careful with Pico today. Um, <laughs> well, he's really the gangster hip hopper, uh, but I will give you some background information before Googling him and before getting to know him the real way. I'm just inserting the real stage lights and fixing it with some hot glue sauce to hold it in position, to, to hold it in position, and then some more back lights. We have two on each side, and maybe also one from the top. This will make her head beautiful head shine. Oh, I damaged the background. This may happen. And with some further hot glue sauce, we can close this whole frame and you see the effect. It looks so beautiful. Now let's switch over to the clay part. Guys, it would mean the world to me if you subscribe to the channel and don't miss the further <laughs> Rock'em and Sock'em rounds. I'm so curious when week 8 will be released. I know there are some speculations out, but still, it's quite curious and I am always thinking on how to create this character with clay and make him a little bit more interesting. I mixed some bright colors together with orange and we get this beautiful hair. For the shirt, he has this green shirt. No signs attached to it. It's quite small compared to his big hat. Pico. Okay, he's a gangster. He really is. Because he is the brother of the boyfriend. What do you say now? You didn't knew that, right? Okay, it's because I made it up. I'm coloring the joint, the in-between joints. The same I used for the beautiful mono puppet and played my tiny level on the desk with the mono puppet. Oh. Yeah, next week I'm working Little Nightmares is returning. Yeah, the joint is for the moving mechanism of the Rock'em and Sock'em for the punching function. And of course, Poco will use his weapon to punch the boyfriend into the face. Yeah, back to the background story. <laughs> Buckle up. Pico and boyfriend once were schoolmates, founded a rock band together, became very popular, became best friends. This special friendship lasted two beautiful years until something unspeakable happened. At this point in time, Pico splits up with his girlfriend, Piccolo? <laughs> the fame with the rock band was just too overwhelming for him. You already may guess uh, what happens next. Boyfriend became the boyfriend of Piccolo. He thought this is totally fine as Pico and Piccolo split up, 
But Pico was outraged about this betrayal and wanted revenge. But he never got a chance to harm the boyfriend as school was over and both went separate ways. Until now, the boyfriend is singing at this theater, <laughs> no, in the club. <laughs> and Pico saw the sign outside and knew this would be his time of revenge. Well, and this happens on the stage. We are just creating the mic and we also have just created the weapon, both with silver clay. You can get it on clayclaim.com, get all the colors and build your own Pico if you like. Okay, uh, I can put all the colors which you need down in the description. Now the other hand wrapping around the grip of the pistol. It's a machine gun, right? You may have noticed that I shortened his right arm just a little bit to make it, well, a little bit shorter. It was just too big and we put this Pico into the oven. Freshly baked Pico and we start assembling this guy that he is ready for his revenge, for his fight. But now I'm really curious. I will look it up. Pico fandom. Okay. Origin, personality, story. Set many years after Pico's school, Pico is hired by Daddy Dearest. Um, well, he was not part in my story. To kill boyfriend for humiliating him after their sing-off in week one. Unbeknownst to him at the time, boyfriend is actually somebody Pico once knew. And once Pico finds him, he decides to spare him and instead challenges him to a rap battle. Okay, it makes more sense than my story. Well, we're ready to fight. That's it, boyfriend versus Pico. Get him, get him. Oh, I should adjust this. No, not the eyebrow. This is humiliating. Now finish him! Oh. <laughs> what an epic fight! Pico lost the battle, this poor guy. Not only the gun... <laughs> Who should try it next against the boyfriend? Guys, I enjoyed this project so much. <sighs> Have an amazing weekend. Take good care and see you soon. Bye. I'm Pico, I'm Pico, yeah. I'm Pico, I'm Pico, yeah. I'm Pico, I'm Pico, I'm Pico, 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 Pico,